I'm doing it kind of in order of like everything that's happened now rather than the chapters but still keeping the chapters if that makes sense so I believe episode 70 which doesn't seem like that far for a, the amount of time that I'm going on hey stop it just go away please just go away I'm trying to do an intro go away it's been two weeks <laughs> Just let me do my in Not many of you will really know it because I haven't really showed it off that much and it's one of the farms I kind of built behind camera. But essentially it's a bone mill farm. Basically what it does is it spawns in stone, converts that to moss and then that gets turns into bone mill via the composters I have set up at the bottom here. See, because the versions are different, in Bedrock you can move blocks with pistons and sticker pistons that you wouldn't really be able to move in Java such as furnaces and composters and other things. But with the aid of it in this version, it makes it a lot easier to build conversion farms, such as this one. Because all I'm thinking is literally we push pistons one way and then the other way, which switches it between the composters and the hoppers, which is another block you can push in bedrock. All is up and running, the stone gets generated, gets converted into moss, the water kills it and pushes it this way through the fence gates into the hoppers, and like I said, this farm is stacked, so you could get loads and loads at a time if it was fully on. I've just put this bottom layer on for now just to show you kind of like how it works. But as you can see, the hoppers are switched, so I'm actually getting more bone mill than I am moss right now. But obviously I can switch it back to more moss than bone mill. As you can see, there's bone mill dispensers underneath that get fired on a timer as well with the water with the dispenser at the back. Also on the timer is the stone generator and it all works in unison and it works amazingly and it's fully stackable. I might do a tutorial for this at some point, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> we're gonna go get some shrooms. What? Oh, we're off to see the mushrooms, the wonderful mushrooms of all, because, 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 because of all the wonderful fungi they does. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz, because, 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 because of all the wonderful fungi they have. simultaneously causing bone meal to be spat violently out of the mushroom which is admittedly hard and not soft but first of all we've got to make sure we keep our shrooms hidden away and safe don't want anyone finding these so yes like i said it's hard the hard bit is we just need to come oh hello again i might turn this into something like i did with the bee farm in the end or i could just leave it as is i could even add futuristic things or a bird carrying it or something like that but that's all up to the future the mob farm is now done and i'm super duper happy it <coughs> to be honest i couldn't miss this out this is just beautiful so if you didn't know what i was talking about most of you will do, hopefully, if you didn't see the short, I would suggest going and watching it, but this is the Red Room. It was subjective at the time, and it's what I built for Valentine's Day. And unintentionally, what I did with the lights was made it darker on the top and lighter on the bottom with the fog effects. Therefore, kind of giving it this emphasis on the fact that there is a very thin line between love and hate. Consider checking out my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash shadowdragon58. Beat it up so before we go. If you want to follow me on my socials, then feel free. Here we go. Hopefully you all had a lovely time today and I'll see you hopefully really soon. Well, not soon, but soon enough.